Hi kids, it's Mrs. Ramirez. So glad you could watch this video. So I wanted to start by saying hi to each one of you, all the kids in the nursery and in the Sunbeams class. So hi Freya, hi Milani, hi Rylan, hi Tay Tay, hi baby Elena. And in the Sunbeams class, hi Henry B, hi Julia, Hi, Tine. Hi, Andrew. Hi, Dante. Hi, Tristan and Amarian and Aria. Hi, Adi. Hi, Ashley. Hi, Sean V. And hi to my grandson, Henry, who comes to Sunday school whenever he has a chance. So I just want you to know, even though we can't be at church, we can still learn about God. So I'm going to do a Bible verse. I'm going to do a song. I'm going to do a Bible story. And then we're going to pray, just like we would normally do in Sunday school. So we're going to start with our verse. And this is the verse that we're going to be doing. And some of you may remember this from a couple months ago. So if you remember it, then say it along with me or just listen and you can learn it because we're going to say it several times for you to learn. Okay? So, the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. Joshua 1 9. Okay, remember that one? Okay, so we're going to say it again. The Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. Joshua 1 9. And this is a verse, it comes out of the Bible. And the Bible is God's word. And remember, everything in the Bible is true. So this verse is true. Even now, when things might feel a little uncomfortable and you may be worried, you still have God. He will never leave you. Let's say the verse again. The Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. Joshua 1.9. So do you think that you can, let's see, what should we do? Should we pat our head and say it? Can you pat your head and say it like that? There you go. The Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. Joshua 1, 9. Okay, how about your knees? Can you find your knees? Can you hold on to your knees? The Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. Joshua 1, 9. And we'll do one more. How about your back? Can you reach your back? <sighs> Get your hands back there. Okay. The Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. Joshua 1, 9. Okay, great. Okay, we're going to, I'm going to do a Bible story, okay? You may, uh, this may be familiar to you. We've read some stories out of this before. Um, in the future, I'm going to be doing some flannel graph stories, but for today, we're going to do a great story about Daniel and some lions. And I know you may have heard this story before, but like I always say, it is always great to hear something a lot of times because it helps us to remember. And also, sometimes we listen to a story and, and then we learn something new even if it's the same story. So, here we go. So this is from Daniel 6, story in the Bible. And it's called, Ask God for Help. God sent his people to be ruled by a different nation. A man named Darius became the new king. Daniel was the best helper in King Darius's kingdom. Because the king liked Daniel best, some of the other helpers wanted to harm him. They decided to trick King Darius into getting rid of Daniel. The angry helpers knew that Daniel prayed to God every day, so they came up with a plan. King Darius, they said, you are such a great and wonderful king, you should make a new law. The law will say for 30 days, nobody can pray to anyone but King Darius. This sounded good to the king, 
So he agreed. I'm going to show you the picture now. Daniel, here's Daniel, heard the law, but he loved and trusted God. Nothing could stop him from praying to God, not even King Darius. The king's helpers spied on Daniel and caught him praying. Daniel was thrown into a den of lions. Poor Daniel. The lions growled and stared at him hungrily. Okay, let's see what happens. Daniel was not afraid. He trusted God to take care of him. The next morning, King Darius went to the lion's den. He removed the rock, see up here, and called, Daniel, did your God save you from the lions? Yes, replied Daniel. God sent an angel to shut the mouths of the lions. God saved me. King Darius was very happy. He told his servants to lift Daniel out of the lion's den. Then he told everyone in the kingdom to worship Daniel's God. Daniel trusted in God and God helped him. You can trust God too with everything, everything in your life. That's such a great story, true story. Okay, so right now we're gonna do a song and this song that we're gonna do, you're gonna have to be standing up and, but if you wanna sit, you can just listen to it. But it has some motions and it's a great song we did a couple months ago and Mrs. Ho had some really great motions with it. So I'll be doing the motions and I know you're gonna enjoy this song. We're gonna do the verse one more time, okay? So, let's see if you remember it. I know you're just learning it though, so that's okay. The Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. Joshua 1, 9. Maybe let's do it, let's do a motion with that. The Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. 
And this is the Bible, Joshua 1, 9. Okay, can you say it in a whisper? The Lord, whoops, oh, Mrs. Ramirez made a mistake. Okay, the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. Joshua 1, 9. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. What about, can you say it really loud? But not screaming. Just a really loud voice, okay? So, like this. The Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. Joshua 1, 9. Very good, nice job. Okay, we're gonna say a prayer right now. We're gonna talk to God. And I'll stop after I say each prayer and you can say it yourself out loud at home, okay? Dear God, thank you for this day. Thank you for our families. Thank you for our friends. Thank you for our church. Thank you for everything we have. Most of all, Thank you for Jesus. Thank you for sending Jesus to be our Savior. Please help us to follow you. Please help us to trust you, God. We love you. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, bye kids. See you next time.